And finally, in outer space, Indian American astronaut Sunita Williams has made history once again. She piloted Boeing Starliner aircraft on its maiden voyage into space, becoming the first woman to test a spacecraft on its debut mission. Williams, along with fellow astronaut Butch Wilmore, took off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The duo will spend a week orbiting the International Space Station before returning home. Our final report takes you inside the historic journey. In an era when women were boldly fighting for their rights and making strides in every field, an Indian origin American woman has achieved many extraordinary accolades. Her name is Sunita Williams and her journey is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Sunita Williams has engraved her name in the golden pages of space history and she's just done it again. Boeing recently launched astronauts into space on its Starliner aircraft for the very first time. And guess who is the pilot? Sunita Williams. Williams made history as the first woman to test a spacecraft on its maiden mission. She flew over her ancestral land of India on her way to space. This marks her third space flight adventure. Williams embarked on a 25-hour space journey. She's with her fellow astronaut, Butch Wilmore. They were launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. However, they have a packed schedule. They will conduct numerous flight test objectives. Not only that, they will also be flying the spacecraft manually. The duo will spend a week orbiting the International Space Station. If all tests go well, the rocket will earn a special status, making it a go-to vessel for rotational missions to the U.S. Orbiting Laboratory in space. But the contributions by Williams go beyond her role as a pilot. Over the past decade, she has played a crucial part in designing this cutting-edge spacecraft. NASA even calls it the most advanced crew module ever flown. The mission is part of NASA's commercial crew program. It's aimed at creating a reliable and cost-effective way to travel to and from the International Space Station and low Earth orbit. The program puts NASA's commercial partners in the driver's seat. It lets them control how astronauts are sent to space. Back in 2014, NASA awarded Boeing a whopping $4.2 billion. It was given to develop a spacecraft capable of flying crews to the International Space Station. $2.6 billion was given to Elon Musk's SpaceX for the same mission. SpaceX kicked off its missions in 2020, but Boeing faced delays and has finally taken flight. As for Sunita Williams, she's no stranger to making history. In 2012, she completed a triathlon in space. She simulated swimming using a weightlifting machine and ran on a treadmill strapped in by a harness. In 2007, she ran the Boston Marathon from the space station and she once held the record for the most hours of spacewalks by a woman. There is no doubt that Sunita Williams is a beacon of inspiration for women, women who are aspiring to reach for the stars. So aim high and dream big and let Sunita Williams remind us all that the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. <laughs>